Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a glow effect using the Universal Render Pipeline, and the final result is going to look like this. So to get started, I am just going to create a new scene, so we start out fresh. The next thing you'll want to make sure is to open your package manager and to do that you'll go to window package manager mine is just right here and then you'll want to go to packages unity registry scroll down to universal render pipeline and install it if it is not installed already then what i like to do is create a new folder and i'll call it rendering i'll go into this folder and create a new rendering URP asset with Universal Renderer. That'll give you these two assets right here. And then you'll want to go to Edit and Project Settings, and your project settings should open. And we have, we'll want to go to the Graphics option and drag our universal render pipeline asset into the scriptable render pipeline settings option. From there, I'm just going to go over here to our scene. I'm going to disable our directional light and switch our main camera so it just uses a solid color just so everything's easier to see. This is not super necessary it's just so we can more easily see the effect i will also go over here to our environment and in our lighting settings to get to your lighting settings you'll want to go to window rendering lighting i am turning off our skybox material and i have our sun source set to none I will also make a new lighting settings under the lighting scene options. And I'll want to choose progressive GPU as the light mapper. I'm going to go ahead and decrease the light map resolution so it renders a little faster. As well as I'm going to set our light map parameters to very low and disable progressive updates just so when we bake our lighting it'll go a little faster. Next thing I want to do here is I will add a plane for our ground and I will just center that and I want to mark this as static. Any object we're placing in here for this effect I'll want to set it to static just so when we bake our lighting the lighting from the emissive textures or from the emissive shaders will show up. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate our plane and rotate it to create a wall. And then I'm going to place the rest of the walls around the round that we created. And now I'm just going to select all the walls and raise them up right now we just got our black box it's kind of cool and all of these planes again are marked as static and i'll go ahead and add a sphere in the center of this i'll move it up and i'm going to make it a little bigger so i'll make it two times the size and again we'll want to mark this as static and now I'm going to create a folder called shaders and go to create and shader graph URP lit shader graph and I'll just call this glow diffuse And I'll double click it to open. And I'll want to add a color option. 
and in our graph inspector, we'll want to set the mode to HDR. And I'll drag our color out here. I'm gonna move the emission option up so it's next to our base color. And I will just go ahead and hook up the base color and the emission here. And to set our default color, I don't want it to be black. So I'll just set it to, I don't know, let's say red. That's easy enough to see. Save the asset and double click the tab to bring it back down to normal size. And I'll right click on our shader, go to create and material to make a new material. Now we got this red material. So I'll go ahead and add that to our sphere and we should be able to see it here. That's good. But uh, one thing we're noticing is that it does not look like it is glowing. So to fix that, I am going to our scene, adding a new empty object. I will call it global post processing. And I'm going to add a component called a volume. I will create a new profile, add an override and select bloom. I will check threshold and intensity and intensity. I'm going to increase to one and threshold and stay at 0.9 for right now. That should be okay. And now if I increase our intensity here, we'll see stuff starts to glow in our scene view. I'll increase it a lot just to make it more obvious, but in our game view, for some reason it is not glowing. So to resolve that, we'll go over here to our main camera and under rendering, there is a post processing option and we'll just want to check that. Now you can see that the sphere is glowing in our scene view. <clears throat> and I will get a slightly better angle on this. Let's see. Just in our game view by adjusting the camera a little bit. There we go. You can't really see much now, but uh, let's see. Now, one thing I do like to do is sometimes you don't like the, how much of a halo is around your object. To fix this, you can go into your bloom settings and change your threshold. So maybe you want your threshold to be three, and then that just kind of reduces how much is there for like the halo around the object. Uh, just play with these settings and then you can get what you, what you think looks good. Uh, for the baking, we can go over here to lighting. And now that we have everything set, we can just hit generate lighting and we should see some red glow appear on the walls here. It looks like that worked just fine. And now to make it a little more interesting, I'm just gonna spread out a couple of different spheres in different places, maybe different heights. And again, all these spheres have to be static, otherwise the baking won't work. And I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate our diffuse, our glowing diffuse uh, shader material and I will choose a different color for some of these and let's go ahead and do like a RGB look to it. I'll even, can even make another one here. I don't know, maybe Maybe make that one white. And then if we go over to lighting and generate lighting again, we should see all of these colors affecting the lighting on the wall. The white one is particularly noticeable. Maybe I can go in here and decrease, let's decrease the intensity a little bit on that one, just so it's not as intense. Generate the lighting again. There we go, not as intense. 
I'll even just remove that one just to get the, the lighting from these three. I think that'll look more interesting. And there you have it, a way to get glowing diffuse lighting uh, using uh, baking, light map baking uh, for your game objects. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment down below. If I missed something, also leave a comment. Uh, if you like the video, click like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.